today Microsoft made an announcement about its next generation gaming console and we, today we're going to introduce to you the Xbox One. So as I mentioned earlier, Microsoft has uh, announced its new next generation gaming console called the Xbox One. In terms of looks and feel, it looks like a larger Xbox actually, more like a HD PC. It's got that look to it. Um, there's also some redesigns to control as well as connect. Now let's uh, jump into the specs and we'll talk about some of the other things Microsoft announced that really makes this console the ultimate console for everyone out there. Now, uh, in terms of processing power, it uses uh, a modified version of the AMD Jaguar processor, which is a, it's an eight core processor. Um, it's, it's a 28 nanometer chip, uh, 100 watts altogether. Um, does come with uh, 32 megabytes of high bandwidth ESR RAM, and also comes with eight gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Now, not DDR5 like Sony has, but this is DDR3. Now, video um, output is at 1080p or 4K, uh, whichever one you have or can afford at that point in time and 7.1 uh, 7 surround sound. Uh, the new Connect, of course is bundled with the console so it actually comes with the console and it contains up to 250,000 pixels in for infrared depth um, uh, sensor and the webcam is at 720p. Now in terms of storage the device has a 500 gigabyte hard drive uh, it's got a blu-ray drive so finally Microsoft has jumped on the blu-ray bandwagon there and um, also your games can be stored on the hard drive now word is that um, you cannot upgrade the hard drive but you can also use external storage so if your 500 gigabytes uh, fills up you can use external storage on there uh, there's also cloud storage options which we'll get to in a second now in terms of connectivity you have HDMI 1.4 in and out so you have HDMI pass through this is very important because Microsoft announced a lot of TV features in there uh, it's got USB 3.0 ports gigabit internet it's got three separate um, uh, wireless and radios uh, one which is used specifically for the controller because it uses a specific Wi-Fi direct frequency and also the other two to give you the best signal strength possible for your system um, in in connecting to the internet now here are some couple of the major things Microsoft announced we saw Sony's press conference and Microsoft really wanted to come out to wow us with the Xbox one so what makes the Xbox one really special and stand out for Microsoft is a couple of things uh, first off is Microsoft I think has adhered to Bill Gates um, vision of making the Xbox the center of your living room and because of that the Xbox Xbox one actually does that in a very interesting way now we haven't seen it in full details, but we should see more of that at E3. But you do have HDMI pass through, which means your TV, your Xbox becomes your TV hub. And what they actually demoed was a situation where you could actually say Xbox, uh, turn TV with voice recognition through connect and you actually go to your TV and you can actually check out the TV guide and the other cool thing they actually announced was the partnership with the NFL which I think is huge is the fact that they also have that tied to NFL fantasy football and while you're watching a live game um, your Xbox one can show you live fantasy stats for your team and of course I'm sure there will be a fantasy football app because of course the system actually runs three operating systems. Yes, it does run three operating systems, which is very interesting. Microsoft decided to go with that approach to make the system compatible with Windows, and that's the whole idea. So you do have this, the same Xbox core operating system that powers the systems for the games and for the game built-in features. Then you also have the Windows, um, basically a stripped down version of Windows, so Windows 8, so to speak, um, that allows you to have uh, Windows 8 applications there, use Explorer and have that functionality. And then you have a third OS that actually helps the communication between both. And it says it's very seamless. From the demo, it looks seamless, but we'll see how that works firsthand when we actually have the consoles at home with us um, there. Now, uh, as I mentioned, the uh, the whole idea of actually having that um, uh, HDMI pass through to give you the uh, the feeling that your Xbox and TV are tied together. So while you're watching the video, you can actually bring the video down, and you can see through the new um, OS screen that. Um, you can have that playing in the background and through, go through other things on your Xbox. Now, the whole layout has changed. If, if you've got a layout where 
your trending, you have a trending section of uh, with your friends on the Xbox as well as what else is going on entertainment wise or Facebook or things like that. And Microsoft has really tried to bring the console to a, a more social universal um, approach here for everyone who is concerned. Now, the other changes they made, of course, as I mentioned, they made, they made some changes to connect 720p uh, video camera, which allows for very smooth Skype calls. They actually show some in-game Skype features where you'd be able to video chat in-game. The other thing they did mention, which I think is pretty cool and would probably annoy a lot of the game capture companies is that there is actually a built-in game capture tool. So you can actually record your gameplay edit it on the system and then share it. Now they only talk about sharing of course um, on Xbox Live to friends there, but I'm sure there'll be abilities to share on YouTube, which I think is gonna be huge with people who do a lot of game capturing on their consoles, uh, especially professional gamers who do that, you know, to share on the web. So that's something that I think Microsoft has, it's because you do have the, um, the HDMI pass through, which helps for that too. The other thing to note is also the uh, controller has gone through some changes here, some redesigns to the controller look, uh, gamepad feel. Uh, first of all, you've got uh, a change. The D-pad, of course, has been changed. So the D-pad actually feels, uh, it looks like it feels a little bit better. And you've also got these, what they call the impulse triggers. What that pretty much means is that they've got uh, vibration motors on the trigger. So as you're probably firing a gun with the trigger, you can actually feel the recoil of the gun on your trigger itself, which would be interesting if that actually changes the way we game or play games or it would just be annoying. Uh, the controller looks a little larger than traditional Xbox controller, but we'll see of course how that pans out in the long run. Uh, now, Microsoft didn't announce any pricing on the system or, um, or launch date. They, they did say it will come out in Q, basically Q4 around Christmas. They said the end of the year. So I'm, I'm saying Q4, I would say that. Uh, and that's when the console will hit, um, uh, um, you know, uh, consumers. So you're looking at probably Q, Q4 for the Xbox One. But overall, I think Microsoft did a very good job in outlining what this console brings to the table. First of all, it's a truly connected console that uh, works around the living room. So you have HDMI pass through, so you don't have to actually change your inputs to switch from your Xbox to your game console. It's always on. So while you're gaming and say, uh, you have friends come over, you can switch over straight to TV and say Xbox TV and it switches to that. Um, you've also got uh, the connectivity with NFL. So you can actually have NFL content, uh, and which is great, especially during fantasy football period. I mean, yeah, that's a huge feature and hopefully they have a fantasy football app um, that ties into that uh, so people can actually use. Um, the other thing to note there is that, as I mentioned, the console comes in 500 gigabytes of storage. You can actually install your game. You can play your game immediately and install it on the console as, you're, as you load the game in. So you put your disc in and hit, you can start playing right away and the, the, the game will be installed in, in the back of your con, on, on the hard drive of your console there as you're gaming. Now, other things just, just to quell some of the rumors, the uh, you'll be able to actually uh, sell your games, buy used games without any issue. And I also talked about playing your games at friends' houses, so which is pretty cool. I think they finally learned from what Steam has done is that you can actually go to your friend's house and download your own um, save profile and continue from there, or download the whole game and actually continue from where you are. So as you know very well on Steam, you can go to any computer log into your Steam account and re-download the game and play from where you are. So it looks like your game um, saves and your game um, purchases will be saved on the cloud. So, which is why I think they put a max in that 500 gigabytes and remove the cloud storage. Microsoft will also have 300,000 servers for the, X, um, the uh, Xbox One. So that's actually a huge boost from the 15,000 they have from for the Xbox 360. So that they're preparing for this to be their be all all in one console. To, to rule everything. Um, other things to mention is that uh, they talked about TV and entertainment. There will be a Halo TV show coming out for the Xbox One, uh, sp exp exclusively to that. And you're gonna see more of that in the future, I think, from Microsoft. So they're really expanding on what the Xbox will bring to the table. But overall, I like what the system has. It's quite powerful. Um, in terms of specs, it's pretty much the same as the uh, PS4, but we have seen the hardware. We know how it looks. It looks like a HD PC in my mind. It's got a refresh controller. It's got a more powerful connect, uh, but we've got some very interconnected features with the uh, HDMI pass-through, NFL tying, uh, 
membership there and also some of the uh, controller features so overall that is the xbox one no price no release date yet but we'll hear more on that from uh, microsoft at e3 so if you guys have any questions or are excited by the xbox one let us know leave a comment down below thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment